Turkey rock again, dare I say. Uh, <laughs> is it a bit of a tradition in uh, Turkey to go for rock music? Because we are not really familiar with Turkish music industry. In Belgium we only know Sertap, Tarkan, and it's really kind of different from what you do. But to Eurovision, it's the fourth or fifth rock entry. Is it a tradition for you? Well, maybe <laughs> you should have asked that question to Turkish radio and television guys, because they are the ones who are picking you know, which band or which artist is going to perform for the following year. But yes, uh, we can actually summarize that when we look to the past, uh, the rock bands, Turkish rock bands, they came up, they ended up with really good results. So uh, I really, really think that that's the reason why we are picked this year. So that was actually going to be my next question. Um, they came to you? Yes, they did. They did. Um, you never expressed any interest in Eurovision before uh, TRT contacted you? Well, actually, of course, in time, last year, uh, we had a couple of interviews, you know, when uh, the journalists actually raising their question, if we would like to go and compete for Eurovision. And most of the times we said no. Uh, it's not the thing that we don't like the idea, but it's just the idea that music is not a thing to be raised. You know, uh, it just kind of bothers us because music is music. You go on stage and you perform. I mean, you get points out of music. It doesn't make sense sometimes. But uh, of course, we talked uh, with each other and we were expecting that sometime in the future TRT would ask that question to us and what we would do. And uh, we said maybe we should do this because, uh, you know, it's a really, really good thing and we are so honored uh, to represent our country with our music. And uh, it's just a duty for us you know to do that so uh, without a question in a heartbeat we said yes and we are pretty proud and we are happy to be here this is a probably the biggest music festival in the world and it's good to share our music with people and uh, know new uh, people, new musicians around Europe and it's also very important. As you uh, said yourself, Turkey has been getting uh, a couple of very good results uh, in the past. Do you feel the pressure to do at least as good? Uh, for example, do you feel the pressure to at least get top five? Well, we believe and we know that we are going to be in top five. <laughs> It's out of a question, but uh, no, we don't feel that pressure because, uh, you know, we just wrote a song and it's just the center of our universe and we are really comfortable about the song, we just trust the song, we believe in that song and uh, as I told you, you know, becoming the first or second or third is not really, really that important. What is important is that to come here to share our music and our opinions and thoughts with people around Europe. Uh, maybe uh, give a little hint about our culture and ourselves. So uh, to be the chosen ones from Turkey made us the winners already. So uh, we are just looking for fun. We are going to be on the stage. We're going to rock that house. We will have fun and we just make people happy. That's where we are looking forward. The uh, contest is being held in a very big arena. Um, the song actually sounds a bit like it has been written, especially for a big location. Uh, it reminds me a bit of U2, so it's really a bit of stadium rock. Uh, was that really the purpose or is it really in line with your previous work? Okay, actually, the song was written for our third album and we were about to finish our preparations to release the album, uh, but uh, the TRT, the state television, asked us about this competition, so we prepared two other songs and we just picked, oh, this song is going to be okay. So it was, but the, you, that's right, uh, the song has the, uh, feeling. the feeling of that. And it's just a coincidence that we wrote that song just before your vision. <laughs> yeah, but another thing is that, you know, maybe you know, maybe you don't, but you know, this band, Yuxek Sadaka, is pretty, pretty well known. Uh, band. So uh, we have concerts all sold out and you know we have too many fans around uh, Turkey so they have really really great expectations from us so whatever we write I mean we don't write this music to be okay we have to write a song it should be you know so you know catchy and stuff but whatever we do you know it just turned out to be that way so uh, it's a great that the song is giving you that kind of feeling because uh, now we know that you know what we did is right. Maybe three. 
Saturday. Saturday. Saturday my wife better. is coming Monday. My, my, my boyfriend is coming on Sunday also. So, <laughs> so it's, a, it's a love story, but a very short love story. <laughs> We didn't actually change anything, but now we know better what we do. Well, actually, there were two girls uh, from Canada, uh, Natalie and Christy. They are actually dealing are dealing with our staging and choreography. I mean, choreography is not a real choreography, but we know you know what to do on the stage exactly. So we've been uh, working on that. Natalie, she worked with Turkey last year as well, right? Yes, yes, Wanga, and we talked to the guys after uh, we were picked for the Eurovision Song Contest this year. So uh, they say, yeah, she's really great, and you know, she's helping a lot. And by the time we called her, she was in New York, and she came to Turkey because she's having some other business in Turkey as well in Istanbul. So we had a little chat, and you know, she came up with really bright ideas and. We actually like her style and personality, Christy as well, you know, they're just helping us a lot and uh, they made us feel a lot more comfortable. Oh!